I kind of wish I was in Fiji for the beaches, for the sand, and for Fiji banded iguanas. So I'll take the next best thing. We're learning about these awesome lizards this week on the Reptile Party's YouTube channel. <laughs> Picture it, San Diego, 2011. I go to the San Diego Zoo, and I see a whole bunch of reptiles that I've never seen before. And one of those is this gorgeous green lizard in an arboreal setup, and I go, what in the world is that? That was the Fiji banded iguana, and so is this. Uh, this is my female Fiji banded. I'm going to explain where the name comes from in a few moments. Fiji banded iguanas are, as the name says, found on the Fiji Islands. They are actually an endangered species. Um, they are threatened by habitat loss and the introduction of predators. Uh, mongoose and rats have both been introduced to those islands. They were not there, found there naturally, uh, as well as feral cats. Uh, and they hunt these little little iguanas and eat them. They'll also dig up and eat the eggs. So they are in trouble. They are endangered. They are illegal in the United States. All the time I see friends in the industry and stuff with all these cool animals like the rock iguanas uh, and uh, you know different snakes that we can't have here. But this one I actually get to go haha I have. Uh, they're also uh, available in Europe, very, very commonly kept in the UK and parts of Europe. Uh, a lot of the times that's where kind of the bloodlines come from. Uh, she was captive bred here in Canada, in Ontario, and she is absolutely gorgeous. She's about 18 months old, uh, so not quite fully grown. And these guys do have something called sexual dimorphism, so we're going to show that and talk about that next. And so here is where the name comes from. The males have these incredible blue bands. The females are solid, although they do have a little bit of blue on them, depending on the female. So this is why they are called a banded iguana. Now, like all reptiles, they are cold-blooded, so they do rely on the sun and heat to, uh, to control their body temperature. So they have the ability to make their colors brighter and darker. So they'll sit high up in the treetop. These guys are often found up 20 feet into the trees and they will bask on the branches and they will get darker and that allows them to absorb heat faster. Uh, these are only the only iguana species that are not found in the new world. So most iguanids are found in like the Caribbean, South and Central America, Mexico, uh, these ones being Fijian, so closer to Australia. Uh, they are still in the same family as the green iguana, but they are not uh, particularly closely related. Obviously, they don't get the same size. He is an adult. He's about two and a half years old. And these guys do, as I said, live up in trees. So high up in the canopy where they are eating veggies. Like other iguanas, they are herbivores. So they eat leaves, they eat leafy greens. And so we give them salad as their primary diet. Uh, in the wild, they will be seen eating bugs on occasion, especially as babies. They will, they will sometimes eat bugs for more protein, but as an adult, it is your leaves, it is your uh, fruit, things like mangoes, papaya, banana, uh, occasionally berries, but mostly the, the latter. So not a really large animal, but a really beautiful animal. So I am so in love with these lizards. This is literally like a dream lizard, and... I never thought I would get to have one. I've said it before, and I've said many times that like my goal is education, uh, not necessarily being a breeder. And certainly with a lot of the animals I have uh, that are more common, I'm not looking to, to breed them. So, you know, you're not going to see me being like, hey, my corn snakes laid eggs or like, ooh, new bearded dragons. Lots of people are working with those. There's no need for, for another one. But our rarer stuff, I do have an interest in. 
Uh, recently, we had a video with our monkey, with our new monkey tail skinks. Uh, One hundred percent, I am going to be working to breed them, and I am hoping to breed these guys probably a year or so from now. I'll pair them up, and we'll maybe get some eggs and have some being hatched here in Western Canada as opposed to just out in Ontario and Quebec. And that's a really big project for me. Um, you know, supporting species that are rare, I think, is something that is is uh, really needed more in the hobby. Not from a financial perspective. Yes, right now, Fiji banded iguanas uh, come with a pretty steep price tag. Uh, a pair would typically be about $4,000. The females are going to be more expensive than the males. And that is a lot of money. And the average hobbyist isn't going to go like, oh, wow, that's really pretty. I'll buy one that's $1,500, even though, you know, there's no issue. I've been looking at dogs lately. And uh, yeah, the uh, the prices for dogs is just insane now. Like $3,500 for Bichon Shih Tzu Cross. Uh, we did not pay that when we were kids. Granted, that was longer ago than I would like to admit. But even with inflation, that's still pretty a pretty significant uh, amount. Um, you know, when you're getting into purebred. So it's funny because we'd be like $1,500 for a lizard, but have no qualms dropping $2,000 on a dog before it gets fixed and it gets its shots and it gets licensed and it gets all its toys and everything, right? Like I imagine it's not hard to drop 10 grand on a puppy with all the supplies and everything, but, uh, and it's not hard to drop 10 grand on a lizard too once you set up their terrarium and stuff. These guys, uh, it's illegal to export them from Fiji. Uh, I don't think there's as much smuggling going on as there once was. Uh, so, you know, we want to continue to support them, especially because they're endangered. You know, we do not want to lose these animals. The problem with islands is once a species that's endemic to an island chain is gone, it's gone. There's no going somewhere to get ones to move it back in. So uh, the San Diego Zoo has one of the best breeding programs of Fiji banded iguanas on earth. They've been very, very successful, which is amazing. So hopefully we can continue to support these species and, uh, and go from there. All right, everyone, well, I hope you've enjoyed uh, meeting my Fiji banded iguanas and learning about this incredible, incredible lizard. Uh, I'm sitting here, I mean, I've had him for almost two years and I'm still in awe every time I'm like hanging out with him because I have a Fiji banded iguana and it's really awesome. Um, if you want to see more of our videos, we have over a year's worth of content now. So check out some of our past videos. We got a lot of cool stuff, a lot of cool animals. If you want to learn about monkey tail skinks, which are endangered, we have a recent video on them. Uh, we have videos from Africa where I went diving with, uh, now crocodiles. When I went diving with sharks, I met elephants and cheetahs. Uh, we have a series of videos from little rays where we met things like reticulated pythons, crocodilians, uh, lemurs and sloths. So lots of great content. I really encourage you to take a look at some of our past stuff. And please, please, please give us a subscribe. Hit that subscribe button. Hit the bell so you get notified when we have new videos. Uh, we come out every Tuesday and we are working on some other projects. We have some other bonus videos that are coming up. Because now that it's spring, we have some, we have some time to kind of film some new and exciting content. And as well, we have a Patreon. Just $3, $6, or $10 Canadian a month. So if you're from the U.S. or elsewhere, you're saving even more. And you get to see not only our YouTube videos first, but all sorts of uh, stories and pictures and animal profiles. And uh, it's it's awesome. I know I make it, so I have to say that, but I'm, I'm really proud of it. So definitely check that out. If you subscribe, 100% of the money that comes in from Patreon goes towards feeding the animals. Um, so, you know, $3 a month, that's, you know, a meal for the two Fiji banded iguanas you know, the, the, the greens and some banana and stuff. So support us on Patreon, support us here. All of our social media is down below as well. Uh, subscribe to our Facebook, uh, follow us on Instagram. All those different things are ways you can support us. It's been a heck of a year, but we're almost at the end of the tunnel and I'm excited to, uh, to be able to get back out there and continue to educate people about awesome animals like the Fiji banded iguana.